The Wilfley Model K slurry pump is designed for quick and easy maintenance. The rear intake design allows you to change all of the wetted end parts without removing the pump from service. Raise the discharge keeper sleeve so it separates from the case and supports the discharge piping. Remove the case nuts and adjust the crane arm assembly so it lifts the case off the bracket. Swing the case away from the pump and you can now replace the runner, follower plate, case wear ring, and the expeller. Complete instructions can be found in the Model K operating handbook. Please look at this book for any questions that you have or call A.R. Wilfley and Sons in Denver. They're always glad to help. Now attach the intake chamber to the frame base. Insert the frame packing ring into the groove on the front face of the intake chamber. Ends of the frame packing ring should be cut at an angle so they form a leak-free packing. Bolt the blind intake flange onto the intake chamber. The intake flange can be placed on either side of the pump. The pump can also handle intake from both sides, in which case a blind intake flange is not necessary. Install the gland stud bolts, case stud bolts, and draw bolt to the intake chamber. This completes the basic assembly of the frame and intake chamber. Now we will assemble the long cylinder. Place the bearings onto the shaft. Bearings should be heated on a bearing heater and locked in place with lock nut and lock washers. Please do not reuse lock nuts and washers. They should be replaced with each bearing change. Slide the shaft and bearing assembly into the long cylinder. Place the oil seals into the front and rear bearing caps. The springs on these seals should face away from the bearings. This is to keep contaminants from entering the long cylinder. Install the front and rear bearing caps onto the cylinder, being careful not to damage the lips of the oil seal. Attach the short cylinder to the long cylinder. Please note, the dished edge of the short cylinder must line up with a draw bolt fitting on the long cylinder. Install the oil filler elbow assembly and oil drain plug to the long cylinder. This completes the assembly of the long cylinder. Set this assembly aside. We will now assemble the check valve. Slide the check valve spider on the check valve sleeve and secure with screws. Place the check valve spring into the check valve spider and cover it with a check valve packing diaphragm plate. Compress the check valve packing diaphragm plate and attach the check valve weights with cotter pins and washers. Please be sure the check valve weights are exactly the same size. Slide the check valve packing diaphragm onto the check valve packing diaphragm plate. Install the check valve sleeve O-ring in the check valve sleeve. Now slide the check valve assembly onto the shaft and tighten the set screw in the notch on the shaft. Attach the short cylinder head to the short cylinder.
you are now ready to install the long cylinder onto the frame. Slide the gland ring onto the intake chamber. Place the long cylinder in the cradle of the frame base. Slide through the bore of the intake chamber and be sure that the draw bolt goes through the lobe on the long cylinder. Install two layers of gland packing ring into the bore of the intake chamber. The breaks in the packing should be opposite each other to help prevent leakage. Attach the gland ring to the intake chamber, but don't tighten at this time. Install the die ring and secure with screws. If you have a two-piece runner, place the expeller portion of the two-piece runner onto the shaft at this time. If you have a one-piece runner, the runner should be installed after the frame protecting ring and follower plate. Now install the frame protecting ring and follower plate. The follower plate must have a follower plate gasket. This is placed in the groove on the follower plate. For two-piece runners, slide the O-ring onto the shaft and install the runner and runner bolt. For one-piece runners, simply slide the runner onto the shaft and secure with a runner bolt. Now you can attach the case and secure it with washers and nuts. Set the runner clearance with the draw bolt. For specific instructions, please refer to page 5 of your Model K operating handbook. Turn the shaft to be sure it does not bind. Once the clearances have been set, tighten the pedestal cap and gland ring. Attach the crane arm assembly. And attach the discharge keeper assembly. You've assembled your pump and now you are ready to put it to work. Be sure the pump is filled to the bottom of the filler elbow with clean oil. If installation is delayed, turn the shaft once a week to lubricate the bearings. Store the pump in a dry location away from any vibration to prevent rusting or bearing damage. Place the pump as close to the liquid source as possible so the suction pipe can be short and direct. The pump should be easy to get to so it can be inspected while it's running and easily maintained. Choose a solid foundation. Make sure the intake and discharge pipes are supported separately. Most importantly, always run the pump and motor in the proper direction. Starting the pump backwards or running it backwards may cause serious damage to the internal parts. Check the rotation of the motor by briefly starting it while it is disconnected from the pump assembly. The motor must be rotating in the same direction as shown by the red arrow on the pump case. Make sure the pump, motor, and coupling or belt drives are aligned. This prevents excessive vibration while it's running. See your operating handbook for a checklist of safety precautions. Throughout its history, Willfully has produced sound, reliable products using the latest technology. Willfully builds tough pumps. They last. Willfully stands behind its products with outstanding customer service, including free engineering assistance. The company's toll-free number connects you with professionals who can help you solve your problems. 
Wilfley has a large inventory of parts to keep your pumps running as they should. And Wilfley welcomes pumps back to the factory for rebuild. Wilfley is your partner for the life of your pump. For nearly three quarters of a century, Wilfley has been solving the most demanding pumping problems in the world. Wilfley, offering durability, quality, and customer service.